There's no media. Hold on. Hold on. you starting to pattern Nolan, but what, what all went into that decision? Well, first off, it's been really good the last five weeks. I mean, throwing a lot of strikes, three and four pitches for strikes, and just felt like it was a good matchup. I think they have one left-handed hitter in their lineup, a lot of righties, obviously. So uh, that's what we decided to do. What did you learn about it? You know, as much as we could, obviously, it's kind of a, one of those things where you, you have some people will tell you a little bit and then you get a little information from somebody else and you just really look at the numbers and try to find out the little things. They hit and run a lot, they bunt a lot. You can look at stats and see some of that, but, uh, you know, just that they have a, an older pitching staff, they, they're probably not going to walk you too much. They, they throw a lot of strikes. Um, not necessarily going to strike you out either. Uh, they're going to make you put the bat on the ball. Uh, probably looking for early contact. We've got to go do a good job rolling the count, looking for certain pitches that we can hit hard, and uh, that's what we're going to do. If you're starting Brandon Fox, what do you know about him? You know, like uh, like the other two starters that they pitch on the weekend, they throw a lot of strikes. I mean, he's only walked a handful all year. He's thrown you know 90 innings or so, and uh, you know, we know his velocity, supposedly, and that he throws two different breaking balls and change up, and uh, that's, that's about all. What about Jacob Nesbitt? I know this is special for him because this time last year he was already playing summer ball. He wasn't with the team. Right. Yeah, we've thought about that a lot throughout the year that, uh, you know, he wasn't part of the team that, you know, made it all the way to Omaha and played till the end of June. He was already up in uh, the Northwoods League playing, trying to get better so he could not only make the team but have a chance to play. and. It really worked out for him because he got a lot of at-bats. He played almost every day up there, 50-plus games. And he got better and had a really good fall for us. And, you know, happy for him personally and his family because they, uh, you know, he probably didn't know what was going to happen with him. We didn't know what was going to happen. We, we needed him to prove it to us, and he did. You, you know, Connor, he's obviously pitched against a lot of great teams, teams that on paper are a lot better in Central Connecticut. But this stage, the NC Regional, how do you think they'll handle that? Well, if we didn't think he could handle it, we wouldn't stick him out there. I think he can handle anything. He's he's pitched in front of 10 and 12,000 here against SEC teams and big games, games to sweep people or win a, win a, a weekend series. And I think it's just uh, another game to Connor as far as his, his mentality and his makeup. Well, I mean, it's it's – in any game, it's important to get off to a good start. But if we don't, we just need to stay calm and put together some good at-bats and score when we get an opportunity. You know, it's not about having a big inning. It looks like to me they don't give up a lot of big innings, these pitchers. So we just need to keep scoring. It'd be nice if we come out and hit the ball hard. We can't always control, you know, where the ball goes. So just, just have good at-bats. And uh, if we do that, you know, the, the game will take care of itself. Mason and Hoover, the team need to get back home, kind of get refreshed. What's this week been like? Do you feel like the guys and like you've accomplished those goals? I do. Uh, I feel like that uh, you know we've given them plenty of downtime. Uh, practices have been fairly short to the point. Meetings have been short. Uh, bullpen sessions have been normal. A couple of uh, light weight workouts and. Just a chance for them to get away from the game a little bit and the grind, the mental part of it, and hang out and do whatever they want to do. And I think uh, I think it'll it'll show up in our play this week. I, and I'm not telling you that it's going to equal a bunch of wins, but what it should do just means we have energy because we didn't have a lot of energy in the tournament down there. Yeah, he's got big power. He's one of the best hitters in the country. He's probably going to go in the top four or five picks. Uh, next Monday night, and uh, he's awfully good. Dusty Baker's here? Son plays for Cal. Yeah. I mean, did you, is that kind of cool, though, to have a major league, former major league manager here? I saw Dusty Baker when we played USC. Yeah. Shook his hand, hung out with him a little bit. So, just another dude to me. <laughs> Got Scott Pose over here, man. What about him, man? He used to play here. I haven't seen Scott in a while. Fires me up. Dave, you may play TCU. We uh, may, yeah. It, it, you guys have been so good, both of your clubs. You, you haven't played the postseason. I've been a little surprised given the, the 
proximity? Well, you know, honestly, I really don't want to talk about anybody except who we're playing. So if we play them, man, I'll tell you everything I know. And uh, it's there's some good teams here. We got to get past our game on Friday.